This is what type of amplifier? How will you call it? Trans what? So very good you say trans because you realize that impedance. Because you realize that they are on two different terminal and again because it's trans impedance, I decide to make it as R, which is equals to, or let me just call it R zero, equals to V out divided by I in. So this is a little bit complicated, looks like a little bit complicated. But can you tell me, based on whatever you have learned, what type of amplifier is this? I mean, how do you break it down? Break down to what you have in your cheat sheet, right? Think about that. Think a little bit. Okay, someone say solves with degeneration. And what else? Yeah, because I, I do have, again, right? A source follower. A source follower? Okay. Now, let's look at this. Is this a source with degeneration? Looks like at, at the first sign, maybe. But let's go through the regular process. Identify the device. Identify the terminal. Then identify the input port. common gate, right? Because where is the source? Here is the source, right? Because this is MOS, correct? And this is the gate. The gate is constantly biased. And this is the drain. So this is a common gate. Except that some of you really feel uncomfortable purple with this. I've never seen this before. Actually, you did. I think we did. But anyway, this is not the typical common gate amplifier I've seen. Every time I show you, what do we have at the input? A voltage source, right? So every time we know that if you give me a voltage, I know what the gain is. But now you put a current. But it's still a common gate amplifier. You just that you put in the current. Okay, so we are going to understand how to work with this. Now, of course, this is equals to the gain of the common gate and the gain of the source follower. And we know that source follower is approximately equal to one, no problem, right? And it's talking about the gain of this two voltage, okay? Now, what we care about is the source follower. How will you solve this problem? There are two methods. Right? And you try to ask yourself, right? You have the cheat sheet. Then what you what do you wish? Now you have you can make a wish to help you to solve it, right? If this were a voltage, then I already know the gain, right? Correct? I already know that if I for a for a common gate. V out divided by, but but let me because uh, when you study you might not you might get confused. Let me call it V x. V x divided by V in. What is the gain of a common gate? Now you have a cheat sheet. If the input is voltage, V x divided by V in. This is V in, right? What is that? GMRD, right? Now, this is something I hope you can memorize. Because you can memorize common source negative GMRD, you should remember what uh, common gate is GMRD, right? So this is GM1RD. So I'm almost done. I already know what is the Vx to V in. But the problem is, I did not give you V in. I only give you I in. How do you find a voltage from a current? Yeah, voltage is just equal to the vo current times the resistance. But what resistance do we need to multiply? Uh, just the name. What is this resistance? What do we call it? R in. Yeah, you give me a current, it becomes a voltage. If I have this 
input resistance, right? So this is the RE. So F even breaks, F now F even breaks to, breaks down to, what is R in in this circuit? By inspection. Yeah, it is given, right? You're going to the source, right? One over GN. There's a typo where? Ah, okay, thank you, thank you. Yeah, this should be one over GM one. No, I'm just trying to trick you because uh, I want to ask you, and then you will say, <laughs> "This is a typo." <laughs> okay, it's R in times one over GM one. Okay, so with this, what is the gain? The gain. Look at this. The gain of the common gate as a R equals to V X divided by i in, right? My goal is to know if you have this vx, have uh, this i in, what is the vx, right? It's equal to what? It's equal to vx divided by v in times v in divided by i in, right? Vx divided by i in is gm rd, gm1 rd, you just told me. And then VI divided by I in is just the input impedance, which is one over GM1. So the gain of this circuit is RD. A little bit, uh, I mean, how to say? A little bit weird, the gain is RD. Maybe for some of you, wow, okay, this resistor is the gain. But it's true because I, my input is the current and output is the voltage. Right? And that's how I find out the gain of this circuit is RD. Right? That is one method. Another method, of course, they are equivalent. Right? You also can do small signal, of course, but you don't want to waste time on that, right? So let me see how to do. How do you think? Uh, look at this. What is Vx? From small signal model, right? Again, small signal. It is just equal to negative Id times Rd. Do you agree? Maybe it's a little bit difficult to see. If I, what if I draw this way? Rd. I ground it. And this is negative ID. And this VX. Do you see this circuit? Do you agree with what I'm drawing? RD grounded. Why it is grounded? Isn't that RD is connected to VDD? because we're doing AC, so it's AC grounded. Then I have ID, ID is going down, right? So now going up is negative ID, right? So what is Vx? It's a negative ID times Rd. Just go for Ohm's law, right? If you want to have ID going down, it's okay, the same. Just use Ohm's law. Zero minus Vx divided by Rd equals to ID. Okay, but what is negative ID? If this is negative ID, how is negative ID related to I in? They are the same if there's no channel length modulation, right? Whatever goes to the source will go to the drain and then go to the RD. So, this is just equal to I in RD. Right? So, Vx divided by I in equals to RD. Same. The gain is RD for this common gauge amplifier. Is this okay? 
Okay, so what is the total gain of this device, right? Let me call this one, two, three, four, five. So because of this, six, then the A, not A, I call it R zero, equals to RD times one equals to RD. Is this okay? So for such a complicated circuit, turn out the gain is just RD. Right? Then now my question to you. Seven. What is the input impedance of this circuit and what is the output impedance of this circuit? Oh, don't do that. What is the input impedance? Just looking into here, I already told you, what is the input impedance? One over GM, yeah? One over GM. What is the output impedance of this circuit? One over GM too. As a trans impedance amplifier, what do you want? Do you want to have a large or small input impedance? Zero. Because you are a current sensor. And do you want to have a large or small output impedance? What do we output? Voltage, right? So you want it to be zero. So is this is a good is this a good trans impedance amplifier? Yes, right? Because 1 over GM is small. Let's look at this one, right? So I was not lying to you that it is important. The input and output want to be zero. And that's why we designed this circuit so that the input impedance has a small, uh, that is small, output impedance is also small. Right? And again, the reason we want the source follower is to reduce the output impedance so that it is a good amplifier. Any questions? Okay, I, I, let me just uh, stop the recording.